As you all know, all autumn long, I've been sharing tasty soup recipes, and I've been asking for your suggestions. And one that keeps coming up is cream of broccoli. So today I'm going to show you a really easy version of cream of broccoli soup that is totally delicious. Just before we get to that, I have two announcements to make. First up, we are going to be doing a Q&A video very soon. So if you have any questions that you'd like to ask, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll try to get to as many as I possibly can. Second, I wanted to let you all know that we are still fundraising to build a vegetable garden for a school in Kenya. This project is in partnership with Free the Children, and every penny donated goes directly to them. So if you haven't donated already, I would really, really appreciate your support for this project. We're trying to raise $25,000, and while it sounds like a big goal, I know that together we can totally reach it. As a thank you for your donation, I'll be sending out a free ebook once we reach our goal. So please, donate what you can. All right, now let's get to some cream of broccoli soup. This recipe is so simple, but so delicious and oh so comforting. As always, I am starting with my trusty Dutch oven on the stove, and I'm going to get started with some butter. Some of you like to ask if I use unsalted butter, and I, of course, respond, What's unsalted butter? Once my butter is completely melted, I'm going to add some finely diced onion and some finely diced celery. Now, there are mixed feelings about adding celery to cream of broccoli soup, but I feel like the mixture of onion and celery anywhere is always a good thing. We're going to saute our onion and celery mixture until it's soft and translucent. Now, to help me thicken this beautiful soup up, I am adding some good old fashioned all purpose flour. This is actually going to prevent me from having to add too much cream. So it's actually a lot less dairy in this recipe than you might think. Once you add your flour, you wanna make sure you're stirring your mixture constantly because otherwise the flour will burn. Next, you probably won't find this hard to believe, broccoli goes into the pot. As you'll see, I'm using both broccoli florets and broccoli stalks in this recipe. Broccoli stalks have a ton of nutrients and cream of broccoli soup is a perfect place to use them. What I like to do is peel them with a vegetable peeler and then cut them into bite-sized pieces. Next, we are going to cover all of this yumminess with some broth. Veg or chicken, take your pick. No one's judging. When that baby starts to bubble away, we go in and add some seasoning. We're going to bring this mixture to a boil and then reduce our heat to medium low. On goes the lid and we're gonna let this baby simmer for about 20 minutes or until our broccoli is super duper soft. Once our broccoli is completely cooked, we are going to turn our heat down to low and use an immersion blender to puree our soup. The great part about this recipe is that you can make this soup as smooth or as chunky as you want to. I like something in the middle. And then of course our finishing touch is to add some beautiful, heavy cream. You definitely want to try this in your kitchen. Once I've added my cream, I like to let my soup simmer for another five minutes or so, and then it's ready to serve. In my house, it's always served with some shredded cheddar cheese. This soup is rich, savory, satisfying, and it'll warm you up from the inside out. I really hope you'll give this tasty recipe a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you guys know I love hearing from you. And don't forget, if you have any questions you'd like to include in our upcoming Q&A, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there's lots more deliciousness where this came from.